<laughs> you wasting your talent, Randy. You know, when I was growing up, we had these things, uh, we called them books. There's one right here. So, uh, I'm going to take this book and uh, use it to adjust my valves. Uh, let's see. Let's make it, what do you think? Is that the right page? Yeah, Smokey says that's the right page. So let's see if I can get a... Try to get some better lighting of uh, how to adjust the valves, but it basically tells you um, which valves to adjust on which stroke of the engine. Um, Spanky refuses to cooperate right now. He's double checking my work. But all right, I'll get a uh, try to get some good uh, footage of the uh, actual adjustment, which valves to adjust when. How to adjust the valves is fairly simple, and I'll show you that when I get the camera set up over here on the engine. Okay, so I know that this engine is at number one top dead cylinder, top dead center on the compression stroke. I uh, did that before I tore the engine apart. So now I'm on to adjusting the valves, and I'm just going to go ahead and read through the procedure, and then I'll record some of uh, me actually doing it. So at this point you can tighten the rocker arm nuts on the number one cylinder only until all the play is removed at the push rods. This can be determined by rotating each push rod between your thumb and index finger as the nut is tightened. Uh, at the point where a slight drag is felt, is just felt as you spin the push rod, owl lash has been removed. Tighten each nut into an additional three quarters of a turn to center the lifters. Valve adjusted valve adjustment for cylinder number one is now complete or will be complete at that point. Uh, if it's a V6, mine's not, so I'm going down to V8. Uh, at the, then I can also adjust the number two, five, and seven intake valves and the number three, four, and eight exhaust valves. After adjusting those, turn the crankshaft one complete revolution and adjust the number three, four, six, and eight intake valves and the number two, five, six, and seven exhaust valves. So, that's the number one cylinder uh, valves. What they're talking about rotating is this right here, this push rod. You'll, I'll be rotating it around um, until all the lash is taken out. See, there's a lot of lash in it right now. I haven't adjusted anything. So I'll get my camera set up for that. And uh, so there you go. The, that's the procedure on how to adjust the valves on an old school small block Chevy. So please stay tuned.
I doing this right? You're the supervisor. You tell me. Am I doing it right? You ain't saying nothing. I guess I'm doing it right. 